Steve Balson here for St. Thomas Aquinas College Athletics. I'm joined now by the two-time East Coast Conference Coach of the Year, Tobin Anderson, on the eve of the 2016-2017 season. Uh, Coach, first of all, this is your fourth year. Uh, it seems like a question we revisit every year, but it's worth asking. Uh, where are you in the plan now? Most times you start with a five-year plan, and uh, certainly the, the success has been measurable. Yeah, I mean, I think you usually start with the plan, then the plan goes awry, and then you start over again sometimes. So the plan's actually gone pretty well, I think, <laughs> I mean, which is better than expected. But we, we um, you know, we're, we're now, we brought in a bunch of guys. We were freshmen, sophomores, we were young. We've been through a lot as far as, um, you know, we've, we've won some big games, lost some, some games, uh, played, played a lot of big games, and now we're experienced. Now we're, now we're juniors and seniors, and which is great because now you've been through a lot together. And I think we're ready for, for uh, hopefully for another, another good season. But uh, time will tell. It's still early. There have been some tremendous experiences, uh, a lot of highs, a few lows, a couple of losses in the ECC uh, tournament final. How has that sort of thing built the character and, and the mental toughness of your squad? Well, I think that, you know, co collective, collective failure sometimes really helps you as a, as, a, as a unit. You know, and there's been a lot of, you know, tears in locker rooms and, and losing to Bridgeport in the finals a couple, a couple times in a row. Uh, brought us closer together and probably instilled a little bit of uh, toughness and, and, and work ethic to get better. And I think now to have last year's success and to, to win 21 straight games to beat St. John's, to go to the NCAA tournament and win, win a game, hopefully will help us now uh, going forward because we've, we, you know, we've had a taste of what it's like to play at that level. Now can we get better? And, and it's hard because once you get to the top, then it, you know, the top teams, the, the, the steps are, are, are very small. And so to get, to get better, it's going to require a lot of effort on our part. And what was that feeling? Last year going to the NCAA, obviously, uh, that was a tremendous accomplishment for the program. You guys were not satisfied with just being there. A big win over Southern Connecticut, a tough loss to a very talented St. Anne's Helm team. What was the feeling? Was there a feeling of accomplishment, a feeling of loss? What was it like in that locker room after that last game? I think we were very upset. I think we want, we, we thought, I mean, outside expectations are, are sometimes a little bit crazy, where I think people thought, well, hey, we're happy to be here. You know, this is great. We, we thought we could go quite a ways, and to, to lose – um, you know, to get to the final 32 teams in the country it was great, but like we we th we thought we could get to the elite eight and, and go further. And that, that's hard, very hard to do. So um, I think we're happy with, with with our year, but definitely not satisfied. And, and I think our guys want to go as far as we can go this year. And, and uh, you know, you got to get a little bit lucky, and things got to fall into place. And we we all know that that's that's part of the deal. But I do I do think that there's no sense of satisfaction um, from our guys at all. Well, clearly for St. Thomas Aquinas, there's been some notice served because the Spartans have been ranked number two in the nation in a preseason poll. Let's look at the upcoming season first. Obviously, a lot of guys returning. If there's been a bit of a sticking point for the squad, it's been a little bit of a slow start the last couple of years. Are you are you aware of that? What do you think is going to happen to to get your guys past that sort of thing this year? We're very, we're very aware of that. We all we know we but we all know that it, uh, if actually the, the funny our best start was our first year. We were five, we were five and one our first year, and then and then ended up going about about 500. The last two years we've gotten off to a very slow start. So we we know about it. We we know it's been it's been an issue, and we're hoping to uh, prepare ourselves to, to get off to a good start. But but you know once again it's it's about how we're playing as we get into February and March, and that's that's still the key. I mean obviously get off to good. You can start off the year and have a great start, but do you continue to get better? And that's what we have to do, no matter what, no matter what happens. But we we know getting off to a good start, would, would, it'd be nice, it'd be nice from from the standpoint of, of of our just our overall mentality going into uh, the next semester. But we know we'll, we probably won't prepare any different or change anything differently. Just for our guys know, hey, let's get off to a good start. There's obviously a lot of talent, a lot of camaraderie among this group, and certainly they've had the chance to get used to your system. You have a lot of players returning. Do you ever feel a point where you may have to rein them in just a little bit because there's just so much enthusiasm, so much energy among these guys, and you, you want to try to keep them on an even keel, or do you just let them, let them go out and let the Stallions run? Well, we let, let them run a little bit. You know, I think they gotta feel they got to feel like they can go out and run. Um, you know, on offense, sometimes we, we go a little bit too fast. and that's, we gotta, we gotta, But on defense, let's, we're not going to rein them in at all. Let, let, let them, turn them loose on defense and go as, go as hard as you want to as, as, as is as is, is, is fast paced as you want to, and hopefully on offense we can slow down a little bit and play. You know, we got to play through Justin Reyes. We got to play through Chaz Waller. We've got to be able to get you know get the ball in the right guy's hands at the, at the right time. And you know, when when you play at the, at the highest level, of the best teams, those teams on an offensive standpoint can slow things down and get the ball in the right spots. And we, we have to do a little bit better job doing that, and not and you know, not turning the ball over. You know, our turnovers hurt us a little bit last year. That's got to stop. Entering your fourth season now, you're coming through your first senior class. Is there a is there a chance to reflect on that yet at all? Is that something that may be a little more relevant later in the year, or you're you're aware of it now? Very aware of it right now. I mean, uh, when, when Chaz and AC graduate, Aaron Cuss, we're, we're gonna it's gonna be a sad day. I mean, it's, it's I mean, we're here to recruit them from from day one. Um, you know, they I took a chance on them a little bit. They took a chance on me. Uh, we, they came to a program that had won five games the year before, um, and they came here and, and we've done a lot of great things. I mean, probably more 
better than we thought we would be. So, you know, they've been a big part of our success and a big part of my life. Like, I mean, just to, just to be around those guys on a daily basis has been very special to me. And so, yeah, it'll be, it'll be, it'll be sad when, they, when they're all done. So um, we're going to try to cherish the, cherish the year and not look too far ahead because that's the, you don't want to do that anyway. But they've, they've both been special people, Aaron and, and Chad, special people, special players, a lot of success. And, and um, you know, it'll be, it'll be painful on senior day. But hopefully we can play senior day and then play like I don't know, 10 more games after that. That'd be good. Well, and certainly the expectations set very high here at Aquinas Hall. Uh, Coach, want to wish you and your Spartan squad the best of luck for another special and exciting season. And uh, go out and get them on opening night. It's right around the corner. Thanks, Steve. Always appreciate it. Tobin Anderson, head coach of the St. Thomas Aquinas College men's basketball team. For St. Thomas Aquinas Athletics, I'm Steve Balson.